So uh, today we have something uh, a little different. Uh, we're usually going in and clearing out estates. So it's, you know, people that are in their 80s and, uh, you know, their kind of stuff that, that they would have purchased in the 60s. Today, we're going to Alita and the entire building was uh, designed by a design firm called Roman and Williams. They, uh, they're still in Manhattan. They designed the building from the ground up and they also designed the interior of the building and they furnished some of the apartments. So one of the apartments that we're going into to remove everything is one of the apartments that they also furnished. This apartment has been in a book uh, about their, their stuff and there's some of their own pieces in there because they also designed furniture uh, where they opened up a place now in Manhattan called the Guild where they, they sell their designs and their furniture that they've designed for different clients. So this place uh, that we're going to has a mix of uh, good mid-century modern furniture, like, like, like real, uh, real good design furniture, as well as Roman and Williams furniture. So it's gonna be really interesting to, to check out the building. This building really looks like it belongs in Manhattan of a certain time. We're talking, it looks like a pre-war building. Uh, it has all brick outside. I've, I've, uh, I've read that they actually hired a, a team, a family of Irish bricklayers to do the whole facade of the building. So it really looks like it belongs, it belongs where it is. It's a great vibe and a great area. So once we get in there, uh, we'll do a little walkthrough. We'll, uh, we'll look through some of the cool pieces of furniture there and, uh, and see what we got. Here we are in the apartment. Great, nice, airy apartment, big windows. You know, they really stuck to the more traditional kind of look. We have this great transom uh, going over here and it's not cluttered. And we have to look at, uh, we have some of this great furniture here. This is uh, an R. Norel uh, Contiki sofa, but uh, this is a nice sofa. It, it, it should do really well. It's kind of cool if we come around and look at the back of it, or we can do it right here. We have these belt buckles holding it up. Uh, and the whole style of it really has this like Sergio Rodriguez feel to it, which is a, a designer from Brazil. And these chairs next to it are Sergio Rodriguez chairs. Also has this same kind of thing. Uh, the leather's cracked and worn, uh, may take a little value off the chair, but really, you know, you know the wood is, is, is where it's at here and with these, with this, uh, with this X kind of design. You know, we have these little plugs here covering up any, any joinery. So these are really nice. Uh, over here on this side, we have a Bruno Matheson chair. Uh, this is called the Eva chair. Again, we have some really nice, nice lines here, uh, even though, you know, they're nice, uh, like kind of squiggly kind of lines, maybe reminiscent of like a Frank Gehry uh, kind of one of his uh, cardboard chairs. But this is a, this is a really nice chair. Uh, back here, we can see it's signed. And you know, all of our mid-century stuff and Scandinavian stuff, whether it's from Sweden or like this from Finland, uh, is really sought after. This is a rosewood coffee table, basic. Well, the cool thing is um, we got this, the Danish control mark is what you want to see on all that uh, Danish furniture. And I can't even read. Ander Chichi, we'll have to look this up. So we have all this kind of sleek mid-modern stuff, and then you get thrown in something like this. You can throw in something more primitive to kind of give it a little more uh, like feel. This looks like it's carved from a couple of pieces of tree or one piece of tree, so that's kind of cool. Here's our first small room. So we have this really cool vitrine here, really like, you know, mid 20th century. Oh, there you go. Like a doctor's, like a doctor's cabinet. Uh, redone. There's all these little neat uh, trinkets here. This here, we're not going to be able to sell if it's real. This is from a lager I have a uh, hawksbill turtle. Uh, so uh, this we're going to have to do something with. We're not going to be able to sell that. Uh, and then there's all these little different little odds and ends in here. It's actually just an old machine desk from the factory. This is the reading steel desk for textiles. So that's kind of cool. And then they got the feel, and it goes around with this whole you know, area and the way the building is designed. So it should be more of an industrial kind of area than the, um, the southern part of Manhattan. This is another Roman Williams table uh, that they may have put together from, from different parts and things. Again, this is more this industrial look. So that's kind of cool. That always sells well because it mixes in with this kind of stuff. 
Uh, this uh, map of London is really cool. These things go for about, you know, again, about eight, eight hundred to a thousand dollars. That's a really cool map. We're actually uh, giving that uh, to the client's friend who recommended us to the job. So the client is giving this to his friend as, as a thank you for recommending us, which is really cool. And here, just I mean, the kitchen is awesome. Most of the time, the stuff in the kitchen, in the cabinets, is not going to be really valuable. Uh, we do have to take a look, so if we have something like that, per se, uh, cooking implements, the cast iron stuff with the enamel over them, those sell well in the secondary market, but usually everything else uh, really doesn't, so we donate all that stuff. Um, we have some um, stemware here. So with stemware, uh, you know, you can have the same exact glass, and if one glass doesn't have any markings on it, it's really just donation. None of these are marked, so all of these are going to, uh, are going to go to donation to someone who needs them. This is a gorgeous kitchen. I mean, you got this, uh, you know, a farm sink here, and uh, you know, this stuff looks like furniture. It looks like mid-modern or studio uh, furniture. It's, 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 it's really amazing. So, you know, a pantry, great lighting. And these are actually pressed flowers that maybe someone found and someone did with the, uh, and they have all the uh, the information here, the name, the Latin name, and all that. So this is really cool. It, it's really if you have the ability to find stuff and see value in things, and that's that that's what we do, you know, or anything. A person who's successful can see value in different things. So someone could have found these in their grandmother's basement and said, "Hey, if I put a good frame around them, they're going to look really nice." And and that's what we have here.